Okay. Not all the lambs are here. What have you done with them? Where are the rest of the lambs? I only have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's not enough lambs. Where are they? Huh. I'm gonna have to go now hunt for the rest of the lambs. Not a good thing on a Sunday morning. And it's always a Sunday. Please note, it is always a Sunday that something goes wrong. So walking the whole field and I think I found them, whoops, under this oak tree. See, this is another oak tree. Hey babies, what you doing over here? Come on. I was calling and calling and you didn't hear me. Come on, girls. You've missed your breakfast. Come on. Come on. Where have you been? I was worried that you all had found a hole in the fence. Uh, Inca, being it's a Sunday, that's exactly what normally happens. Well, there is everybody. I know, it's very nerving. Yeah, I'll pick you up. Oh no, I'm not gonna pick you up, Maya. You have to turn around. Oh, you're getting so big. There we go, we found them. We found you, you bold sheep. Well, you missed breakfast. Because I want to check for fly strike. But you all look like you're fine. And you were in the deep shade out of the sun which is very hot today, late season heat. Here we have our gorse and there's that old saying, when gorse is out of bloom, kissing's out of style. So gorse blooms all year round and it's full at the moment of cobwebs everywhere. Look at that, cobwebs. And then we have loads of hawthorn. And then look at the blackberry feast. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, wow. Because of the recent heat. Ah. Delicious. Look at that. The birds are going to have a feast. I can't talk because I'm being a pig. A blackberry pig. Mmm. Oh, man. These are so good. Look at that. The birds, I'm sure, are feasting on Look at them all. Absolutely fantastic. So this is one of the top paths in the field. And sadly, this bit of gorse is so old. You can see it's got a split in it right there. So the sheep have started a new path here. That used to be the old path. And they've started a new path here because the gorse um, broke. Look at that. So this is, this is in the middle of one of my, one of our fields. You can see there's gorse and hawthorn. We have ash above us. Look at the cobwebs. Gorse is just so brilliant for cobwebs this time of year. Absolutely gorgeous. There you can see the great oak tree, this huge tree here. And right here, we have a smaller baby oak tree and an ash tree. They're right next to each other. 
literally right next to each other. Now, here you can see the difference. This is an oak tree trunk. You see it's all rough and veiny. You can see the baby oak leaves coming out. There's more oak. And then this is an ash tree trunk. Now, these are much narrower. You can see these are much wider. These look more like a crocodile or an alligator back. And these look more like a lizard's underbelly. Oh, hello, you. You've come as well. Yeah. Are you gonna climb up the trunk? Or is that too much for you? No, you're not gonna climb up the trunk. <laughs> anyway, that's an ash and an oak right next to each other. Literally. Planted by my grandfather, probably. And I'm continuing to do plantations. In there is our woods. And there you can see is a holly tree. And you can see the green berries. Not ripe yet for later in the winter. Anyway, making our way back to where the flock is of lambs, because those ones were so tucked around the corner of the hill and under trees, they didn't hear me shouting across the valley. Hey, babies. Yeah, you missed out. Oops. Oh, pup. Where's pup? Java. Pup, pup, pup. Where are you? Oh, you got stuck. Oh, scary nettles. Scary, stingy nettles. Oh, look. I heard you squeak because you got stung by a nettle. Oh, baby. I'll lift you up over the nettles. Yeah. Wait, wait. I have to pick you up. You're very, you're getting big. There we go. Now we'll go over the scary nettles. The scary nettles are filled with butterflies. Well, butterfly eggs and larvae. That's why we have so many butterflies this year. Anyway, there is the flock of lambs. And I can put you down. There you go, safe and sound. And down this steep hill. What a gorgeous day. And very grateful that, oh God, I nearly tripped on you, you cat. A gorgeous day and lambs all fine. What? Look at the willow. You can see, hear, see their browse line. The browse line is, this is a weeping willow. If it was weeping, it could weep much further down. But the browse line is where the sheep or the alpaca graze it. So that is the browse line of the weeping willow. You can see the browse line of that willow there. Okay, babies. You're making a mess of my gate system. <laughs> You're being stomped at, aren't you? Hello. Yes, you want me to pick you up. Going through all the thistles is too much for little puppies. Yes, too much for little puppies. Oh, there we go. Now, let me through. So everybody's here now. But you're not getting any extra food. No extra food. You were late. And now you know you've missed out. <laughs> Look at time. The lambs are, I wonder if they're gonna run over. He's having a bath. Right in the view of lambs. Going, what is that cat doing? Hello you. Okay, I've got to sort this out and that'll take two hands. Up. Standing 
use ground. Whoop. There we go. Uh, <laughs> lambs are frightened of time. There he goes, off into the woods.